All right, so what's up guys? I am currently at work right now at Global European Motor Cars right there. Kind of blurry and focus it a bit. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna walk around, show you what we have here. So, all right, maybe we'll go into detail about maybe one or two of the cars. Not too sure yet. But yeah, let's go. All right, so we got the Vanti Vanquish, sorry, V12, beautiful one of three colors. So only other, only three other cars have this color. I think this is probably one of my favorite cars in here. Yeah. Aston Martin, elegant, nice, love it. Then we got two 430s, one in silver, one in Rosa Corsa. Uh, one of them has a tubey exhaust. I'm pretty sure it's the silver one, but they both are mean sounding cars. Then we got two other Ferraris. We got a 458 Italia and an FF. Otherwise, I call it a clown shoe. I know a lot of other people call it that too. You know? Pretty cool. Not my favorite, but definitely has that V12 sound. Then you got the 458. I believe this is a 10 or 11, but I mean, it's pretty nice. I like it. Not a huge Ferrari guy, but you know, still a Ferrari. Then you got the 7 Series back there. I think that's the. CL AMG, I believe, not 100% sure. The A8, the Maybach, the two Rolls Royce. You know, this car's on, a, I guess I'll go over them, but let's go. Everyone always talks about these cars, so here we go. You know, elegant Rolls Royce. You know, the, the rich person's SUV. What a sedan, whatever you want to call it. Then you got this Mercedes right here, you know, not that special. Probably my least favorite car in here, this Aston Martin right here. This camera doesn't really help it, but the, I think the color is a little worse than this. It's more of a, like a mustard yellow. I don't know how it's really shown in the camera, but yeah. And another one of my favorites right here is this R8. It's just the V8 model. But it has these, I think these badass red Vossens. That just complements it so well. Like, it's in, it's in, I think, like, Grigio Telesto or some kind of gray. But I mean, look at it. Look at those rims. You know? Look at that. It looks so good. I don't know if it's unlocked right now. It's got. It's locked, I'll open it right now. Look look at the carbon fiber. Just oh I love carbon fiber. Then we got uh, I think it's the DB9. I don't know. I, I I can't really tell certain Astons apart. Got a like an 07 M6 and like a 14 or 15 M6. Definitely like the newer one, you know. Not just because it's newer, but I'm not a fan of convertibles, especially soft tops. All right, so I don't really know what car I want to open right now. I think either this Vanquish or that Aston right there. Let me focus in. Sorry, the Aston, that RE, the Audi. I think I will go over the Aston right here. Uh, the key right here. So, you got the key, I'll open it up. It has a, it has a crystal key. Yeah. Definitely a beautiful car. You know, it's pretty cheap. Look at the stitching, look at the seats. Like, just the detail and it. it looks so nice. I think we're selling it for like around 175 or something like that, which I think it's really low. It's a V12, sounds really good. I'll be in here. You know, see, 
it's practically brand new. Look, freaking 14, almost 1500 miles on it, and that's it. Now, I don't get how people can't like Aston Martins, like carbon fiber on the dash. I'll start it up right now. Get this key out. See, like it's it's got the key, it's got the crystal key and everything. Like I don't know how you can't appreciate the quality in Aston Martin. Uh, let's see if it focuses. It's not gonna focus, but you know it has the Aston Martin logo inside that crystal right there. But let's go ahead and start it up. Yes. So for those of you that don't know, this is the starting for an Aston you put in here. Yeah, see, it sounds freaking nice. Yeah, I get that it's not the fastest car or anything, but like, you, how can you not appreciate this? Like, you know? How, how can you not appreciate an Aston Martin? It, I, oh, it doesn't make sense to me. But I mean, out of all these cars here, I would probably take this car or the R8. But if there's only one other car I would take over these two, which we are actually getting smogged right now, which is the AMG GTS Edition 1, that car for the price that we have it at, best deal ever like I I would drive that car it's beautiful thing is sounds probably better than any of the cars here obviously it's a different uh, exhaust note different engine obviously but I think that car is definitely my favorite but second favorite is this and that R8 you know just got to keep showing you because it's those wheels the poles in the way but Look at it, it's just sitting over there. Yeah. But I mean, hey. I gotta let this car warm up real quick. I gotta let this car warm up real quick and I'll, maybe I'll rev it a little bit. Something, a little something. But hey. <laughs> I just love, I just love being around cars. I, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like that also. Just show you a little bit of this car, okay. So this, this is the Aston dash, or like the display or whatever. It's nothing crazy, but I mean, cool. I think it's nice, nice and simple, you know? Keep the person focused on the car, not just yeah, the features, although like obviously the carbon fiber and the special color, just crystal, certain things. Yeah. And also one thing if you didn't know, this car is, has a carbon fiber chassis, like the entire car is made out of carbon fiber, which is a you know, big plus. I think it helps the car out so nice. Enough, enough of that. So, I'm gonna rev it up a little bit. It's pretty warmed up. It's been st started for a little bit. Ready? Just, just listen. This definitely sounds better in the lower RPMs, but oh, you can't beat that. Like. There's certain cars, yeah, they sound a lot better, but I mean, it's definitely a car that I love. Not my first favorite, you know, but you gotta res I think you gotta respect Aston Martins. Definitely nice. And just the quality in it. It's not made to be something incredibly fast, but... I mean, look at, the, look at this, the 
one, ah, I can't get over the seats. Look at it, look at the stitching. Look at the, look at it. It's insanely nice. And it's got the, you know, the back seats that you'll probably never use for another person because I don't know if you can see this, but you could, you can't fit anything back there. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. All right, I'll show you this little crazy thing right here. So I'm gonna the door up. Cool. A lot of you probably didn't know the e-brake for an Aston Martin is on the left side, right here. And to disengage it, it's a little different. Different. You hold it up, push the button in, and then push down. See, now the, the brake light is gone. And to engage it again, you just pull it up like an e-brake, and it goes right back down. They put it there so that it can go down and it's not an inconvenience trying to get out of the car. Let me turn this off. So, that was the Aston. Yeah, dash goes down. And it's gone. I'm trying to put this key away with one hand. All right, we're good. So, let's hop out. I'm trying to do this as like my first vlog. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna do that great, but hey, what can I do, you know? Still gotta get used to walking and talking to a camera and no one else around me. But hey, as long as I'm around cars, right? Bring this 458. And all these cars in here, they are for sale. But I mean, the longer they stay in here, I won't really mind. But if they sell, I wouldn't be too mad also, because then that means that we're going to get new cars in. Well, that was a quick vlog and walk around through my work. And probably have another vlog just like this. Mm -hmm couple days you know maybe I'll get in a different car but yeah all right see you guys